Hi, I'm Bob Alsquish Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. You know, making V-carve signs is one of the neatest things you can do with CNC router. And a lot of times, that's the first thing a customer makes with their new router. In this video, I'm gonna show you the process. The V-carve process normally requires two tools. It requires a V-bit that lets you get the detail of the graphic and then normally a straight bit to clear out larger areas and of course to cut the outside out. But you start with the drawing and let me show you how that's done. All right, 3D engraving a sign with V-carve Pro is one of the easiest things you can do with the ShopSaber CNC router. Now let me show you what's involved. Let's see what our blank size is. I said, okay, I've got a blank that's 22 by 16 by slightly over an inch and a half thick. We're using inches. We're touching our tools off, which is setting Z0 to the machine bed, which is your spool board. That's what that really is. All right, we'll hit okay. Select that now. So now we need our graphic. Well, it's it's an oval sign. Well, I drew the oval with the oval tool over here. And one of the hardest things I find is getting the proportion works right. So I used the golden mean rectangle to determine that, and that is one to one point six one two or six one eight. And that produces something that's very pleasing to the eye and it's all over nature. So that's where that came from. When in doubt, you can always try that. Now this is offset to the inside. So the top of the sign when we're done, this is gonna be a primary color that's just gonna be flat. And then the tops of the letters are gonna be the primary color. And then all the stuff that's engraved down in there will be the secondary color, which in our case is white. All right, now, uh, basically, VCAR Pro has all the text that you have in your Windows computer. So you can select all the text you want. You can locate them. Prior to tool padding, I normally turn that text into lines and arcs. You don't have to, but that's probably simpler. Okay, now let's look at what a VCAR toolpath really is. So I'm going to go to toolpaths. And here's a VCAR toolpath. Here's what's involved. I'm, I'm telling it that I'm going to cut it to, an eight, to about an eighth of an inch deep. Uh, we're going to use a second bit because this is a big flat area. It's a lot faster if you if you flatten that out with a second bit, which is going to be a, a straight quarter inch bit. And before we do that, let's let me show you. So I'm going to deselect that. So all I've got selected are the letters, and let's hit calculate. All right, and it, what that told me is there's no tool pass for the straight bit because there's no area that it would fit. So. So let's take a look at this one. See, there's tool paths there. When you simulate it, that's what straight V-carving looks like. And that's actually a nice effect. It just depends on what you want. That's not what we want in this sign. But if you just straight V-carve, the depth of cut is determined by the width of the, of the letters and the angle. And we're using the 90 degree V-pin. Okay, let's go back to that. Let's open that up, and there's where we define our second tool, but let's change our selection. So we've picked the letters. I'm going to hold the shift key down and pick that. Now I've added the, that as a selection. Let's see what happens. All right, we'll reset our preview. Turn those off. Now, this time we get a tool path with a straight bit, so that's cutting that pocket out about an eighth of an inch deep, and then we come in with our V bit. And now that's a totally different effect. Now those letters stick out. And that's really what I wanted on this particular one. So to complete it, I basically need to do that rough the outside. Right, and then we'll come back and, and when I say rough the outside, what we're doing is we're, we're leaving about 15,000, so it's gonna be slightly oversized, and we're gonna do it in two or three passes, so it's easier on the tool. And then we're gonna come back with our finish pass, and our finish pass is going to remove that 15,000's allowance. It's gonna give us a, a single pass cut, so we're gonna get a really nice edge finish. And we'll preview that. Now let's go to the machine and cut our sign. V-cut operation is actually using a straight quarter inch bit to do the rough pocketing for the side.
detail of the sign is performed by the V-bit. for the outside. First we rough cut it and we left a little material that allowed us to do the final finish pass in a single pass and it just creates a beautiful edge. Now the sign is ready to go back to the finish room to have the secondary color applied. Then the mask can be removed. Our sign project came out really nice. You know, you don't realize the beauty until you remove the masking and you see the contrasting colors. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaver.com. Thank you for watching.